Hey, bass clarinets, welcome back. On today's video, we're gonna do accent, accent book two, page 25. On this page, we've got a few things to review first. Tempo marking adagio. Adagio is slightly slower than andante. In the center, we've got an alternate F sharp fingering. Now we know that we often play our low F sharp with our three fingers, three fingers, F key, and our F sharp finger here with our left hand pinky, but did you know that there's an alternate way? Take those pinkies away and use your right pinky right up here below. It's the first pinky key on the lower shelf. That's our alternate F sharp key. And then sforzando is a strong accent, almost like the accent symbol, but it's a, a, a letter combination, SFZ, that they put, that means very much the same thing. Our first exercise today is clog dance, and this is number 88. It's in three eight time, three counts per measure, and the eighth note gets one beat, and the reason that is because that eight means the whole notes get eight, half notes get four, quarter notes get two, and that leaves eighth notes with one beat. I've got my metronome set at 130 beats per minute. That seems really fast, 130, but that's the speed of the eighth note. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three, ready, set, play. <laughs> Let's try it again. One, two, three, ready, set, go. The next piece is Opak from the fair at Soroshinsk, my Modesk Mazorski. I'm gonna change my metronome down to 70 beats per minute because we're in two, four time here. And this, piece, this one is a little bit complicated, so we're gonna need that extra time, that slower speed to help us learn and practice and grow at this. So there's some special roadmap I wanna point out in number 89. It's the repeats. Play measure one and two, and then repeat measure one and two. Play measure three and four, and then repeat measure three and four. Then continue on, five through the end of the piece. Notice that there are some spots where there's two notes given. There, you can play the bottom note or the top note, that optional divisi right there. And notice also your sforzando, your strong accent. Here we go. That along with B flats. And one and two E and ready, begin. <laughs> Nicely done, nicely done. Our next piece is the German folk song, O Tannenbaum. This piece has F sharp and C sharp. So if you need to, take a moment and mark your F sharps and C sharps so you don't forget them. It's got a first ending and a second ending, and it's adagio. I'm gonna keep my metronome at 70 beats per minute and join me as we play the German folk song, O Tannenbaum. One, two, three, ready, go. <laughs> Thank you. 
might recognize that under a different name. The next one is an English folk song called Blow Away the Morning Dew. Be careful, this exercise is in cut time, two, two time. Two beats are two counts per measure, and the half note gets one beat. So at the beginning here, these quarter notes are gonna sound like eighth notes. One and two and ready, set, go. Next and our last exercise is accent on bass clarinet. And we're going to be using that alternate F sharp that we talked about at the beginning of today's video, where we use our pinky on that first key on the, on the lower ledge or on the lower shelf. So give it a try with me. Number 92, one and two and one and two, and see how you do. Place that pinky down on that key, touching it, so that your finger feels where it is. One and two and ready, set, go. <laughs> So there you have it, page 25 of Accent Book 2. So make sure you use this video again if you still need the help. It's always there as a resource. And until I see you next time, keep practicing.